I'm going to go over the proper way to put a patient's name in after the cardiac monitor has already been turned off. This is usually the case in a cardiac arrest patient or a John or Jane Doe. Um, so I turn the monitor on, then I'm going to select options, and out of options I will scroll to archives and select it, and then choose yes for closing patient and entering archives. Next scroll down, I will go to edit, and then I will look for the patient that I need to put the name in for. So I selected patient, and now I will look for the, for the um, call that I ran that I need to put the patient's name in. This will only work if nothing has been put in to the patient name, last name, first name category. Uh, so I will select the call, and then I will put in the last name. And then select first name. And if I have the birth date of the patient, I could go ahead and put it under patient ID. And if for some reason there is something already placed in the last and first name that's uh, not correct, such as John Doe, Jane Doe, uh, you could. Uh, this would only be uh, a rare occurrence when you would need to do this, but you could go down to incident and then put the last name and then the first name in that area. Um, so that ends how to place a patient's name into the cardiac monitor once it has been turned off.